Hello, my name's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix Guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements. And this is the first of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Adobe Premiere Elements. The purpose of this is to show you some of the basics, uh, show you how the program works. Well, if you're so intimidated you don't even know where to begin, well, that's where we'll begin, at the beginning, right here in part one. This is the splash screen, what you're looking at right now, also called the welcome screen. This is what you see when you first start up the program. On this screen, we have access to the organizer up here. Uh, down at the bottom, we can log into Photoshop.com. These are both great tools. They're terrific things to use. And we show you how to use them in subsequent tutorials. We also show you how to use them in great detail in the books. But the two portals we're most interested in right here on this screen are New Project and Open Project. Open Project will, of course, open a project in progress, a current project. And you'll see the most recent projects listed when you click on that button. And then there is the button here for creating a new project. Now, I can't emphasize emphasize too much how important it is to create a new project correctly because setting up your project correctly using the appropriate project settings will take you a long long way toward having a successful editing experience so let's click on new project when you select new project you're taken here to the new project option screen here of course we'll name our project which we can call my video and we choose where we're going to save it but in addition on this panel we set up our project settings setting up again the project settings the correct project settings is key to a successful editing experience now the project settings that will show here will be the last project settings you set up by default in my case I tend to edit a lot with mini DV so that's why this is set up for standard DV but let's take a look at some of the project settings that are available in Premiere Elements if I click on change settings here there are a number of great options available here. You can see depending on your camcorder source and the key is to match your project settings as close as possible to your camcorder source. Under DV we have settings here for a mini DV camcorder. Under HDV we have settings here for HDV tape based video editing. So DV and HDV are for tape based video. AVCHD is for hard drive camcorders or camcorders that have storage that are specifically designated as AVCHD and you see we have a number of them again very important that you pick the right one in addition we have settings for more standard hard drive camcorders this is also for flash memory camcorders and these would include camcorders like the JVC Varios a series that was not supported well in previous versions of the program since version 9 we've also got a couple of new pre sets that have been added to the program that greatly increases versatility including support here for the flip camcorders these are great these little pocket camcorders flip camcorders come in both amino and ultra and they also come in standard definition and high definition you can choose a preset from here your program is going to interface beautifully with the flip camcorder you're going to be able to edit your video in native flip which is terrific not too many editing programs offer that in addition a number of DSLRs DSLRs are still cameras that take video now these aren't just your low-end still cameras we're talking about DSLRs and usually what distinguishes a DSLR is that it has an interchangeable lens not always but that's a good indicator of it they'll also be called DSLRs as digital single lens reflex cameras and a great example of that would be of course the Canon EOS D series like the 7d and the 5d uh, these will take video in both 1080 which is again high definition 720 which is high definition in 1280 by 720 size and notice that we have both 60 frames per second here and 24p if you know what that is you'll be very excited to see that that's supported here and then we also have DSLRs that shoot in standard 640 by 480 so a lot of great new support here and again selecting the right one for your camcorder check your camcorder specs check how you're shooting your video because some camcorders shoot in more than one format and select the right project settings and it will go a long way toward a successful editing experience with premier elements since version 9 Adobe Adobe has greatly, greatly expanded the versatility of the program. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make my selection here for Mini DV standard 4x3 screen. And when I click OK, we'll finally be taken here to the editing area. So we're now in full edit mode and we can begin to gather our assets, gather our video, gather our audio, gather our various media clips and put them into our project and start to build our timeline. And that's what we'll look at in subsequent tutorials here in our eight part series, Basic Training with Adobe Premiere Elements. Hope you'll stay with us for the whole series. Hope you'll check out some of the intermediate and advanced tutorials. We got dozens of them right here on moviepix.com to help you really understand this program, really become an 
expert with it. And of course, check out my books, themoviepicks.com guides to Adobe Premiere Elements and Adobe Photoshop Elements available at Amazon.com and right here at moviepicks.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you real soon.